Oh, how spooky. I'm playing this during the Halloween event. Welcome to a new series of Traveler's Rest. This is an early access game, so I'm not sure how much content is available, so I guess I'll just play until I run out of things to do. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the character. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. The game is currently in early access, which means it's still being developed based on your feedback. If you enjoy your time, please consider leaving a review to support this indie project. Thank you. A, W, S, I, D to move, left shift to run, B to enter and exit decoration mode. While in decoration mode, you can place items. To select an object, move the cursor over and press the left mouse button or E. Try selecting table. Move it with the mouse and press E to place it. Customers need a place to sit. Place the benches so they face the table. You can rotate an item by pressing R. Press Q to add the item to your inventory. Okay, so it kind of auto fits itself. Customers will also expect their table to be well lit in the evenings. Try placing the candle on the table. Candles are consumed over the course of days, so you will need to replace them in the future. Oh, okay. We need lots of candles. Let me just put it anywhere. Exit decoration mode. Get closer to the book on the bar and press E to open your stock. Oh, getting so much information. Probably going to forget everything. Okay, press B. And check out the book. Storing food here will add it to your bar's stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. Gruel only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. We are empty. Press O to open your tavern and serve some gruel. Remember to exit decoration mode. You have a quest. Press H to view it. Serve six customers. Individual table for lonely people. Are they just gonna come in? Nobody wants to come to my tavern. No. Oh, can we talk to them? No. Okay. We're just right into a time management game. Well, that's simple. A zombie. What kind of customers am I serving? Close up the tavern so you can place your new items. Call last orders by pressing O. This will prevent new customers from entering your tavern. Oh, that's nice. Pressing O again will force your tavern to close, but you will lose reputation. Instead, wait for your customers to leave. Well, we don't want that. There are eight bowls of gruel. Then why did I close? Okay, bye. Set up a table using your new items. Enter decoration mode pressing B, select the item from your action bar using the mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up and press F. Not letting me put that on the top, but that's fine. Open your tavern and serve new customers. Complete more quests to unlock new upgrades. Oh, we got some more candles, that's nice. Oh, what is style? Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's do that there and this here. I guess it doesn't matter about the time or anything. What kind of moody tavern owner am I? I'm like, I'm open, I'm closed, I'm open, I'm closed. Okay, let's open back up. Mm, these tables are not even. I'll have to fix that. Just need eight customers. Here you go. Werewolf. Oh, look, I, I guess it's because of the Halloween event. That's kind of cool. One of your customers has dirtied the floor. Oh, how dare you? Clean the floor by selecting the mop and pressing F close to the stain. No, you gotta hold it. Okay. I mean, I'm cleaning, but I didn't wash my hands. Ah, oh, what a lovely journey it's been. Yeah, I just need two more customers and I'll close. My table has become dirty. Press and hold E next to the table to clean it. Pardon me, guys. Just cleaning. What did I get? Bucket with water and porridge. Now you can serve porridge and water. Press E near the book to add porridge to your stock inventory. Let me get this girl real quick. The customer has asked for a glass of water. Approach the keg and press and hold E to pour a glass of water. Then approach the customer and press E to serve them. Remember that a color can be assigned to each drink at the drink dispensers to make them easier to identify. Well, that's kind of cool that you can set it up yourself. So what am I doing? Am I adding this to the menu or something? If you don't have any beverages available, customers will just ask you for water. In order to serve it, the water must be stored in one of your drink dispensers. Approach the keg, press Q, and refill the dispenser with a bucket of water. I got it, okay. Oh, poor drink. Got it. Now the drink has been added to your tray. You'll be able to see the drinks on your tray above the action bar. You can return drinks from your tray to the dispenser by holding down the R key or by clicking the icon to the right of the drinks on your tray. Information overload. You can see the beverage table on the right side of the bar. When a customer orders from their table, an indicator appears and will open up as you move closer to it. As well as seeing current orders, you can also drop off and pick up drinks at the beverage table, which will be very useful when there are multiple people working at the tavern, whether they are your friends or your employees. We have two. Can I get another? one so you have to be on the edge or the back what a lovely journey it's been yeah i'm just a little bit confused about this one did that go to the right person they complain a lot dirty table wow tables get dirty really fast i'm nasty people oh you want water 
Oh, I got a copper axe. You can cut trees with it. You have attained a copper axe. Close your tavern and go outside to chop trees in order to advance your quest and gain new technologies. Ooh. Okay, bye people. I'll get you a glass of water, but you gotta go after that. Everyone's just drinking water. They're like, this tavern sucks. I just couldn't understand the, the porridge. I'm sure I can figure it out though. Let's go outside. Rude. Oh, oh. Can I smack people? Please. Okay. Find some trees to chop down. But I don't see any energy bar, which is kind of interesting. Ooh, I'm gonna get a pickaxe too, I guess. Few more trees to go. Pixel animation is really nice. I got a sawmill. You can work wood with it and copper scythe. Use it to harvest and cut tall grass. You attained your first work area, the sawmill. Build it outside the tavern using the decoration mode. Select the copper sickle and press F to clear the weeds. Remember that you won't be able to use it if decoration mode is enabled. After building the sawmill, exit decoration mode, get close to it, and press E to open up its crafting menu. You can tell people have forgotten to leave decoration mode playing this game because they constantly remind you. Probably that means I'm going to forget to exit decoration mode. So decoration mode, and they said build it out outside the tavern. Okay. Do I need to clear the whole area? Well, I can't remove this stuff, but I can remove the grass. Let's do that. Clear this out. Oh, that's nice. How about now? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'll put it here. Oh, that's ugly. Why did it delete the grass? Each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. Click the recipe name to begin crafting. I guess we're making planks. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, move closer and press E to collect the items. Oh, there we go. I was like, where is the time? Oh, it's not too long. Fabricate 20 wooden planks at the sawmill. No. Can I queue it up? I guess I can chop some more trees down. It's kind of weird to play a game where you don't have energy or you don't need to eat food. We're just serving food, but we're not eating it. Oak sprout. Oh, okay. I can plant trees. Copper pick. Oh, nice. You've attained the copper pick. You can use the pick to mine loads and get metals and minerals. Remember that decoration mode must be disabled to mine. Of course. Oh, I don't know what I just picked up. Let's get rid of this and... Can I delete this totally? No, I can't. I guess that's the bar for how long it takes to grow back or something. Mm, is this copper? Yeah. Is this coal? Got a smelter, an anvil, and a stump with axe. Use it to cut wood. You've attained the smelter and the anvil. When you build a smelter, a new working area dedicated to metals will be created. The area cannot overlap any other working area. Oh, so they have to have this really bulky, big, ugly area. Got it. Some objects can only be placed in a certain working area. The anvil can only be placed in the metal work area. Okay. Is that coal? Yes. I guess I need to clear out more grass. I hope I can move the work areas later. Oh, I guess I could, technically. Not really sure where I need to put this stuff, but okay. Craft 10 iron nails using the smelter and the anvil. Okay, what do I need? Iron nails need an iron bar. I need 10? I don't have any iron ore. Where do I get that? Is it like a mine or something? Oh, people. The weather has improved, but Pharaoh is still there, frozen like a popsicle. I understand that Brock is furious about detonating the ice, but what else can we do? I only hear complaints, but no solution. Someone is stuck in ice. Ooh, apple. All of those apples and I got one apple. Yeah, I forget I can run. Any iron ore here? It's just stone. There's probably iron ore like right in front of my tavern. Can I pick these? No, what is this? <laughs> no, you can't go. Okay, he's not talking to me. A mango. I was gonna say an apple, one apple, but no, it's a mango. Oh, seriously, I can't pass that. What is this? Forestry waste. Probably of no use to me. Oh. Why did the music get creepy? And there's bats. Am I gonna die? A little ominous. The howling. I just need some iron ore. Oh, there we go. Finally. No, it's just a little bit lighter than coal. 
That's gonna be really easy to miss. I wonder what time I have to go to bed. Also, I wonder how long that takes to come back. Oh, there he is. Oh, dang. That kind of sucks. Is there any more iron ore? Can I collect that? Yeah. Seems like something I would cook with. Can't read the sign. This is more copper. Using the F key is so weird. I used to using E, yeah. All right, we got a bridge, I guess, that we'll repair later. Probably that's going to open up later too. Okay, well they sure did not give me any iron ore. They're being very, very stingy with it. Maybe I should check in front of the tavern. Oh, it's very foggy. Now let's see if I can find something. There's stone, coal. I think that's coal. It's down here. Turkey? Um, there's a floating lantern. Hello? Gas. Oh, faithful fate, oh merciless fortune that falls upon me mercilessly. It's her again. I curse you, mocking demon, for taunting me with the warmth of life. What did I do to you? Go away, you dirty mortal. Do not torture this soul already doomed for eternity. Get your meat away from here. Do not disturb my nightmare any further. Uh, hello? Good heavens, you can see me. My cries in the dark of night have gone unanswered for so long. Speak up, mortal. Please this lonely soul with your company. You a ghost? I am not just any ghost. I am the solemn wraith of Gas Dubois. May my magnificence not overwhelm your heart. There has never been a more skilled and renowned mixologist. Oh, can you come work at my tavern? Sorry, I don't know who you are. Oh god, I'm gonna make him angry. Did the game bug out? Oh, that was weird. Oh, it's already the next day. I guess I'm not gonna pass out, huh? Well, it's midnight. Maybe it's like starting. Maybe it's like 2. It'd be 2 a.m. I guess I pass out. Gas Dubois, the alchemist of flavor. Don't say that. It's not possible. My legacy, my fame, it has all vanished in the blink of an eye after my unbecoming death. I curse you, fate and all the dark forces that move you. Alas, how unfortunate I am. Such a devastating injustice. The minstrels would sing epic songs about me if I could have finished my work. The Dead Awakener. Dead Awakener? Yes, the best of all concoctions. Whilst working upon this final recipe, I see death cut my life short. I know, such irony. And what's it made out of? <laughs> I think my game really bugged out. This is hard to read. It doesn't matter anymore. Although I was close to coming up with its final recipe, I will never be able to see it finished. How could my mind rest in peace in the face of such misfortune. Maybe I can help you. I appreciate your offer, farmer. Unfortunately, I require an expert in the athletic arts. Only a master of the guild could carry out my design. Just a tavern keeper. You run a tavern? Um, it's all right, mortal. I'll give you my legacy so you can see my complete work. Oh, gods of fortune, I commend myself to you. Your first step will be mastering the ghostly breath, the first elaboration of my master concoction. Serve it at your place and be proud of offering such an acquisic elixir. In this scroll, you will find its recipe. When you've served enough, come back to me. A mortal soul, I wish you as much fortune as I was denied in life. I got it. See you, gas. Wait a second. In the graveyard where my putrid body rests, there's an undead named Bucks who sells all kinds of mysterious and interesting items. Do I really want to be buying things from someone who's undead? That place is inaccessible to all mortals, so as a token of gratitude, I'll provide you with the goods he offers himself. It'll be my way of returning the favor. I appreciate it. How simple are mortal desires and their futile interest in material things? Go swiftly, my apprentice. Master the ghostly breath and free this soul from the sorrow of eternity. Why would an undead want cold? Cavalous plunder does not stop even with death, mortal. Do you even know how much it costs to maintain a mausoleum? You don't want the great Gas de Bois to rest for eternity in a sad grave without sea views. A is a shop, but I don't have any money. I have no monies. Consumable item for rituals only. Oh, well, okay then. Void cookies. The best snack for your winged creature. Hillary, for when you've been bad. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was bugged out. I trust you, my mortal disciple. To fulfill your quest, you just have to look inside yourself and trust your good judgment. Here you can order items for your tavern, select an item to your basket, or shift click to add five. After ordering, they will appear in your delivery box in three hours. Oh, so things deliver quite fast. The good judgment to look at your recipe book and not change my creations one bit. I don't see anything to mine, really. Oh, it's cold temperature. I wonder if that matters. I don't have to eat, but I I can freeze to death, I guess. Oh, a lot of copper. Well, it's 1 a.m. Maybe I should go to sleep. Oh, I? What is this? Higher staff, calendar, and orders. Rotation 4. Six. This is your calendar where important events will be noted. Select any day marked with a red dot to view events. Okay, there's nothing going on. My mailbox, I guess. Oh, you can order from here. Oh, there's a lot. There is definitely a ton of things in this game. Okay. I'm assuming that's for selling. <laughs> the sudden music change. 
see what's in here. Cellar. Oh, a chest. This is your bedroom. Sleep in your bed to save the game. If you stay up too late, you'll pass out. Okay, that's what I thought. It's almost 2 a.m., so I should probably sleep. Make bed. Make the bed while I'm in the bed. It makes a lot of sense. I don't need that anymore. Little chest. I have quite a bit of inventory space, so I think I'm good. What's in the cellar? Advance in the main quest to unlock the cellar. Before opening your tavern, consider stocking up for the day. You'll need more logs for crafting in the fireplace. Visit the post box outside your tavern to order more supplies. So I need logs, but I don't want to order logs. I can just cut trees down, right? Not sure what I would need to buy. Let me just check what the crafting stations have. Wooden pole, plank stockpile, stores wooden planks, old stockpile, a brewing barrel, blacksmith table, and a keg. Oh, what about this? Firewood, there we go. Yeah, I can just make some of that then. It's kind of funny, I don't have to be there to chop it. What about you? Not enough fuel. Some recipes require fuel. Click the firewood on the left side of the crafting menu. This will remove one firewood from your inventory and add five fuel to the crafter. Oh, we need the firewood. Got it. Oh, F for fuel. Got it. Oh, oh, okay. Burns very fast. Fuel one, fuel five. I can use some of this need 10. Well, that's nice it tells you so you can get the exact amount. So how much did I need for this? Just one. I hope we're going to be able to change this area in the future. Okay, we need 10 nails. need fuel as well. 15 fuel. Need more iron bars. Okay, I guess I can run around and check for iron again. What is this way? Nothing. I guess that's where the travelers come from. Maybe I should make like a schedule. 12. I can open the tavern for a couple of hours, something like that. Can I go this way? No. Oh, so it's just really the tavern, the forest area in the south, and then the mining area in the north, I guess. I don't know. Maybe things will unlock later. You guys are still here. Just need iron ore. I don't know if things stay the same or if they randomly spawn. I think they stay the same. I remember there being some iron ore, I guess, to the left side. So let me try to find that again. Or not, but there's some mushrooms. Maybe I'll need these. Oh, there's a boulder here. I guess I need a bomb or something for that. Oh, I didn't see that much more iron. I'll go check the nails and then maybe I'll open the tavern. A lot of coal. Maybe I'll just use that. Make some more firewood too. It's almost 12. All right, let me collect this and then I'll start. Workbench. Tools included. Crafted in sawmill. Okay, well, let me do my porridge quest. Can I close? No, I couldn't close it. I pressed... Oh, but... There we go. Move this. Oh, I can't move it. Oh, that's... That's ugly. Okay. Well, what if I rotate it then? No, that's not helping. Okay. Never mind. All right, let's just open. Can I put these here? No. Oh, there we go. Porridge. Where do I get porridge from? Oh, I just served. That's right. Okay. Porridge. I heard the owner of this place is a cultist. Well, maybe I am. Where did that rumor come from? The customer is being rowdy. They are marked with an angry face. Press E next to them to try and calm them down. A rowdy customer will upset nearby customers. Okay, let me get this water first. Okay, okay, I'll pipe down. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a traveler. I want to speak to the barkeeper. Dude, calm down. What's wrong with these people? Okay, I got an old doormat. Dirty and worn. Great. Yeah, it's definitely going to be nice when I can have someone to help. I went to the wrong person. That's a little bit frustrating. Two glasses of water. There we go. Yeah, I stood here and pressed serve, but it went to the middle guy and he didn't even want water. That was weird. Just had to run in with some bandits. Nasty business, that. More water. Table is gross. More porridge. I forget that I can run. 
Messes everywhere. Oh yeah, this game is going to get a little bit stressful, isn't it? Maybe I'll close at 5 o'clock. We want it water. There we go. Okay, it's five. Let's close. You have reached a new reputation milestone. Each milestone unlocks new items and mechanics. Bring and cooking tech trees. Oh, do we have tech trees, huh? Tech trees are how you learn new recipes. Each tech costs skill points, which can be earned from crafting. Skill points are split into physical, nature, and mental. Oh my goodness. I do love skill trees in games, although these are not technically skills, but they unlock stuff. That's pretty cool. So we have one red. Oh, and then you have to have the correct amount for each color. Okay, got it. We'll only have red vision two coming soon social interesting and magic okay so that makes sense while there's a guy sitting in a big block of ice there's magic in the game it's not yet i wonder if that means we can be like a little witch tavern owner or something well i can't unlock any of this what are these menus xp upgrades recipe book mild wort and l yeast okay so this is probably where i'm gonna have to start buying things Oh my gosh, there is so much to make in this game. Reputation 1. I can have 16 people. Oh, definitely need to get more people in here, huh? Let's clean this up first. So confusing having to switch from E to F. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, let's go outside. I need to craft some things, I guess. Craft a small table using the workbench. Oh, I have the workbench. Used on the sawmill area. That is... That, no, that's not what I want. There we go. Oh, I can't move this. See, that's going to drive me crazy. Why does this have to be in the center? Okay. Craft a small table. Oh, yeah, I definitely need a table. Iron nails and wooden pole. Can I get some more iron nails going? Get some more firewood, too. I guess I can understand why there isn't an energy bar because already that's a lot, a lot going on inside the tavern and trying to balance everything. So yeah, I'm glad they made the choice not to add that. I'm curious what the music is normally like at nighttime when it's not Halloween. I got two red and one green. I need to craft a bunch of stuff. Small table needs wooden planks. Cut some more trees down. Comfort 5. I was going to say, is there any reason why I should use this old doormat? Because it's dirty, but no. I'll put that on the floor when I go inside. At least I have unlimited coal and stuff. It's pretty nice. I'm getting these sprouts, but I'm not sure how I can plant them. Can I put this in my inventory? Can I just plant this? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, I think I have enough now. Wooden jug, watch out for splinters. I wonder what that's for. I think this is the last thing that I can do for the night. Right, paper coaster. It keeps the tables clean. Oh, that's nice. You now unlock your crafting room. When you're ready, close up and head to the northern side of the tavern. Oh. I think I got another table, right? I don't have chairs, though. Unlock the crafting room for 40? That's so expensive. Well, I don't think I have a choice, do I? So let's just go for it. Barley for the first step of beer and water. This is your crafting room. Let's make some porridge. Oh, this is... I was like wondering where do I cook? Add some fuel, of course. Some recipes can be modified. This allows extra ingredients to be added. Some recipes have mandatory modifiers. Porridge requires grain. Try dragging the barley from your inventory into one of the slots. This will create barley porridge. Starchy barley porridge. Add like mango or something. Oh, sell for 1 in 68 but two and 18. Okay, well, let's just do the quest first. Wait for your porridge to cook. It will only take a few seconds. Yeah, I need to make a small bench. Malting machine. Obtain malt from your cereals. Now let's brew some beer. Place the malting machine from your inventory and start crafting malted barley. Okay. Again, we need some coal. 
barley with bucket of water. Small thing takes a while. You can reopen your tavern and serve porridge while you wait. Okay, maybe I should make some more porridge. To definitely put some barley and then do the mango. Or I feel like apples are more common than mangoes. Let's try the apple. So I can now add this inside of here. Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay, I'll have to check that tomorrow if I can make the bed. Don't really know if that matters. Let me check upstairs real quick. Very tiny upstairs. Okay, maybe it's gonna expand later. Green barrel, bitter hops, and bucket with water. Great wort by boiling grains. Place the mashed ton and create some mild wort. Check back later when it's finished. So do I put this down? Mild wort. More fuel. Not sure what exactly I'm waiting on, but can I put this down? Or, okay, let's make chairs first. Wait, what? I got a cat? Just like popped out of nowhere. Oh, it's so fat. Oh, I definitely like the chunky ones. I'm gonna go with this one because it's calico. I'm gonna name it after my cat. Oh, it's so chunky. My cat has wandered into your tavern. I guess it lives here now. You can buy a bed and water bowl to keep you happy. Oh, I don't have much money though. Cat bowl. Ooh, it's 20. Okay, we gotta, gotta open the tavern. Small bench, wooden planks, and iron nails. I just... Oh, I got it. I was highlighting this item, so that's why when I was pressing F, it wasn't letting me go here. Okay, I'm just gonna add a bunch. I don't know if this decreases over time. I hope not. I don't think so. I'll just put a bunch in. Obviously, we need a bunch of stuff. Maybe I should make another table. Wooden pole. I'm excited because I'm trying to get something for my cat. One bench. I'm gonna go cut some trees now. I got a pretty good amount of money yesterday from being open from like 12 until 5. I think I had 47 gold, so I should be okay. Oh nice, a chunky iron ore. I wonder what I use the copper ore for. I'm collecting a lot of it lately. I'll probably start collecting more stone. Probably gonna need so much of it in the future. I don't have that much. Yeah, let's check this stuff again. I got a candelabra and a candle. Crafted an anvil. Candelabra needs five iron bars. Am I out of fuel already? Oh yeah. Well, let's do this one. Make some more iron. What else did I need? More wooden planks. I have a table and a bench. I should get some more benches. They're just snails and planks. One more. I also need to check that mild war. I need to buy a wall calendar. Making a bench now. Get some more nails going too. Hey, I had to take a break for a moment to order food in real life. So we're waiting for the bench. Maybe I can check out the table. Oh, it's already 12. I don't have a bed for you, buddy. We're gonna get you one though. Let's open. I didn't check this. I open, but we'll check this out. Now for the last stage, fermentation. Place a fermentation tank and create some mild L. You can add modifiers such as fruit and hops and give your beer a custom name. You can order more supplies using post box outside. Fermentation tank and L yeast. Well, I can't do that right now, so I'll have to wait. Our first customer with a knife in their head. More water. Ooh, I'm running low on water. I wonder when will I get more options for making water? We don't exactly have a sink or something or a well outside. Okay, I have 20. I think I have enough for the cat bed. I didn't check how much the bowl is. Sorry, I didn't mean to swing my mop at you. The oh, table's dirty. How did I get more? Not letting me. Okay. That's all my water. Oh, there we go, okay. Guess you have to just empty it first. 
Can you chill out? I'm going as fast as I can. People really are thirsty, huh? This must be what angels drink. Water? Yeah, sure. I also like to drink water. The world needs more places like this. Oh, thanks. What a nice compliment. Uh, hello? Clean the table. All right, last hour. Got an angry guy. Oh no, the customers become a nuisance. They will annoy everyone around them. Hit them with your mop. They kick them out of your tavern. Oh, that's so cool. Oops. I want to smack. I hope accidentally smacking somebody won't be a problem. Ooh, table got really dirty. All right, it's five. It's time to close. Oh, thank you for the trash. I wonder if we can get like a trash can or something. Let's do this first. Mild L and this ghostly breath. Well, obviously don't have the ingredients for that. So let's just make this. Bitter hops. I'll keep the mango for now. So I need to go back out. I need to get a cat bed. Oh, cat bowl. Okay, cat bed is 25. Well, let's get the cat bowl. I'll have to wait on that one. Not much to do. At least we can get a bowl. Did I order? I don't think I ordered. Okay, let's try that again. I also need a wall calendar. Wall calendar. Oh, that's expensive. We'll have to work towards that. So what else can I make? None of this. I guess I'll just keep making a little bit of everything. Let's go see if I can find some more fruit or porridge and the drinks. I should probably go to the southern forest area. Probably I can find some fruit there. Oh, I'm hearing this river water noise. I'm thinking like, does it rain in this game? I sure hope so. It'll be super cozy. Some nice rain and you can hear it inside of the tavern. That would be very, very nice. Not sure if that's a thing though. Let's not go up there. I'm just trying to find some quick stuff before I go down. Eventually I can do like an all day tavern kind of thing, but I have to collect a lot of stuff. This looks suspicious. Like a circle that you put something inside of or dig in the center. Maybe that's where I do rituals. I don't know. None of the fruit grew back on the trees though. So that kind of worries me. Maybe it's like a once a week kind of thing. Let me go to the south. It's already nine o'clock. There's a bunch of bushes, but I can't collect anything from them. Kind of bothers me. I'm like, oh, berries, but I can't get anything. Hey, buddy. Really, there's no trees with fruit. Maybe I shouldn't have used that apple. Oh, what can I, can I go here? Oh, what is this? I hear pigs, pigs, cows. Buzz. Hi, neighbor. You must be the new owner of the tavern next door. Great job, by the way. That place is pretty much in ruins before you arrived. For heaven's sake, we're in manners. I'm Buzz. My family and I welcome you to our farm. Your family? Yes, my wife Holly and I recently purchased this land. We just moved in with our two children, Arthur and Violet, a true blessing from the gods. We've had to repair more than we'd like, but it's been worth it. Since Holly opened this store, we've been getting orders from all over the kingdom. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask her. Where is this kingdom? I'm not seeing much of anything. Uh, build? Wow. I see you finally got around to constructing your first building, huh? Don't worry, Buzz will explain how this works. At the moment, you only have the barn and chicken coop available. The barn will allow you to take care of large animals such as pigs, cows, and sheep. Oh, so we can have animals, okay. On the other hand, the chicken coop is for smaller animals such as chickens. On the right side of each building, you can see how many such buildings you can currently build on your farm. In your toolbar, you can see your available resources. Remember that you have to carry the building materials in your inventory to be able to use them. Here you can see how much it will cost to construct your new building. As soon as you accept the building order, it will be deducted from your materials. What do you mean you find it expensive? I'll be damned, neighbor. That's the cost price. If I made it any cheaper, I'd be losing money. That's all for the time being. If you have the necessary resources when you select the building, you can choose the area where you want to build it. Remember to clear the land before you come to see me. I'll have to keep that in mind for sure. Oh, they are really expensive though. I feel like this is getting ahead of myself. I think this will be a later goal to get the chicken coop and stuff. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe the tutorial is gonna direct me in that way. Look at Arthur's little, little bowl haircut. Hello, 
Hi, kid. What's your name? Arthur. I see you're not much of a talker. Mommy says I shouldn't talk to strangers. She's right. I'm the innkeeper. Are these animals yours? Yes, mommy and daddy bought the farm a little while ago. They've had a lot of work lately, and since I'm a big boy now, I help them as much as I can. Sometimes mommy lets me feed the chickens. I like them. They're very gentle and quiet. Not like the pigs. They're always squealing and grunting. They scare me a bit. Violet says that before me, she had another brother, but a pig ate him whole. Oh my god. What an evil sister. Where is this sister? She must be older. Can I go in your house? Closed. Oh, it's already midnight. What's down here? Fruit. Yes, please. An orange. Can I steal these? Oh, chicken's got a comfy spot. Oh, just orange. Oh god, I hope we can get some speed boost or a mount or something. Yeah, I don't see any other paths or anything. I'm assuming I shouldn't be able to go north. Yeah. No, I don't see anything else. Yes, let's just go back. There's the cat bowl. Okay, so when you order stuff, it goes in here. I need to put this down for you, buddy. Maybe here? There you go. You just get water, no food. Oh, I better go to sleep. I'm assuming it's 2 a.m. I could be wrong. Make the bed. I have these two I can put down. Maybe one by the door and one here. I also have these. Oh, I have tables. Wait a second. This and this. Oh, that's a cute table. Okay, we need to move stuff around then. I can't serve anybody though, right? Yeah, okay, let's move this over. Like that, and then maybe one here. Move it down one. There we go. Okay, you know what? Let's put it back over here. It'd be hard to see. Now, how do I fill you up with candles? There we go. Oh yeah, these candles burned out, huh? And then maybe I can do... Like that. Is there anything else I need? Oh, maybe I can get water with this. Let's try that. Congratulations, you have brewed your first beer. Best tea to be your tech trees and learning recipes. Your beer is almost ready to serve. Alcoholic beverages need to be aged before they can be sold. To do this, go to the tavern cellar. Oh, you have to do this in the cellar. I got it. Oh, it got big. Okay. <laughs> to age the drinks, just add them to your aging barrels and let time pass. As time passes, the drink will level up and increase the price to the maximum level of grand reserve. Approach the aging keg and press the Q key to open the menu and place the beers inside. Drinks can be aged for several days, but they only need one day before they can be served. Wait until the beer is ready by working at the tavern or sleeping so time passes faster. Can I put all of them in there? Well, let's do this. They can go to maximum level. I don't mind. All right, I need to check how much porridge I have left. That should be fine for now. But maybe I should make more... What is it, this? I should learn how to make water first. Okay, let's go outside. Can I pet you again? I need to get the bed, I guess. Oh, I have enough now, I think. Let's check. So, 834. Oh, what should I unlock though? Oh, I don't have any of this. I'm assuming I need to get the coop for this. I'm gonna kill my own chickens. There's tea. Oh, there is farming. Oh, I need to get a reputation too. It might be smart to save this. It looks like I can make these because I have the recipe for these. So maybe I'll just stick with this one. Oh, but it's one, two, two. Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, let's go for that one. And then maybe I'll just save the rest. I wonder what this is for exactly. Oh, let me try to get water. Let's go to that river. I don't know how healthy it is to be getting water like this, but can I get water? Hmm, doesn't look like it. How do I get water then? Well, there's two hours, so I'll just collect stuff here and then go work. We're not in a rush. I don't think there's any time constrictions in this game. There's already not any energy, so we'll take it slow. We'll not get stressed out. We'll eventually get everything we need. We just want very anxiety-free, chill gameplay. So we're all good. I'm talking to you, but I'm actually talking to myself. I've never been the kind of person that wants to complete games very quickly. I'm not a speedrunner and I don't find enjoyment in that. Speedrunning can be fun to watch, but trying to do things as fast as possible. It's like, why? I just, I like to go slow. I like to see every single corner. I like to collect as much as possible. So we're just taking things easy and going slow. Oh, it's 12. Let's go open up. Oh, is this the well? Oh, collect water. There we go. I didn't realize I had a well here. Okay, so now I can make more of that. Let me do that real quick before I open up. We'll wait for that and we'll open up. Gosh, I have more tables now. They're so slow to come in though. Please take my porridge. I can buy the cat bed. Oh my God, you're already messy. What 
The service here is terrible. Why? You don't even want anything. Okay, calm down. Well, maybe I shouldn't have put down another table. Now things are getting crazier. We have 12 total. I can add another table. I think it was, what, 16 or 18 people I can serve right now? I need to make you love me and I can't. Dirty table. I wish the cat could help me. What does this guy want? Oh, I thought it was pointing at him. It's just trash on the floor. This table definitely took longer to get dirty, so that was nice. Ooh, we have 65. I needed 80 for the calendar. I don't know if I'm going to get that today, though. So much water. I need you guys to eat porridge, though. It's more expensive. Five o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's close. People are pretty well behaved this time. I hope I get enough reputation points to upgrade. I'm really curious about the farming stuff. Oh goodness, really? Guys are so messy. Okay, let's buy the cat bed. Is there anything else that I want? What is in here exactly? You know, it doesn't say how I get more candles except for to buy them. So that kind of sucks. We're going to need a lot of money. Oh, flowers. That would be cute, but that's expensive. Oh, food. Every five days, five random ingredients will be available to order. Marked with a star. Some ingredients can be farmed after unlocking them in the farming tech tree. Oh. Sometimes when I hit space, it just does something else. Oh, these are expensive too. It doesn't tell me what I can farm, but well, we definitely want to farm these things because these are expensive. And I think we have to wait for three hours to pass. Oh, these trees are done. I didn't buy the cat bed. I always forget. Okay. Bye. There we go. I can replant trees. I don't have that many though. I think because of my monitor settings, I'm having a hard time understanding what is coal and what is iron. That's fine. Doesn't matter. I can collect both. Okay, what else can I make? Should I make another table maybe? Make one more small table. There's also this thing. Let's get some wooden planks. I can also try getting the hinge as well. Let's do that. Yeah, five iron nails and an iron sheet. One more small table. Let's make a hinge. I also make this for the tables. I need two hinges for the small chest. Okay, let's make bench and to make another one. Oh, okay, it is two hinges. Never mind. Actually, my inventory is okay right now. Oh, and I can check for my cat bed. Let's see if I got it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I, oh, I got two. Oh no. Okay, well, whoops. Maybe I can give it two different places to sleep? I don't know. Oh, your tavern has become cold. Use a fireplace to keep your tavern at perfect temperature. I accidentally just hit O. Close. There we go. But I will try it. Let's test it out. Oh yeah, that does not last long at all. Okay, I'll have to get more firewood. So I want to give me this and then maybe I can put this, I don't know, by the fire and one in the bedroom. You have two cat beds. You have to love me now. Oh, now do you love me? Your water bowl is empty. No, it doesn't love me. I tried. Oh, so foggy. I crafted 50 items. I don't want to accidentally get to the same item again. All right, I have a small table, bench. I need one more bench. And then I need more nails and planks. I need to cut down more trees. And that should be good for the rest of the night. Okay, I have two benches and a small table, so let's get a chest. 
And then I want to make this shell. I need more poles, more planks, and more nails. Maybe now I'll move this table. I think that's good for the day and go to sleep. I took another break to eat. Let's make the bed. Uh, excuse me, make your bed. Let me try petting the cat again. Oh yeah, a little bit more than yesterday. I kind of want to test out one whole day of only tavern and then one whole day of collecting resources and see how that goes. So maybe I'll just go ahead and open the tavern. First, let me... We need to make this, don't we? Well, I can't... Oh, you know what? I should just go check the ones we have in the cellar. Unaged. I guess it needs one more day. Yeah, I'll leave it there then. Almost out of water. Should make some more porridge, I guess. Oh, but I don't have a lot. How can I understand my reputation again? Oh, I'm almost reputation two. Let's go for barley and orange. Kind of weird, but that'll just have to work for now. I think I want to spend mostly today just working on the tavern. I forgot what I was trying to say. So I need 20 more planks and five more nails. I think I'll just craft that shelf and then open the tavern. Might be the best thing to do. Oh, my beer finished aging. Okay, got a shovel. They can remove grass with it. It's time to farm. The first thing you will have to do is to clear the grass of an area of land with the shovel. To do this, select the shovel in the action bar and stand on the grassy area. Remember that you must be out of decoration mode to perform actions. Where should I make a farm? Maybe like here? And I got a hoe. Now that the land is free of grass, it's time to till. Select the hoe and till the land where you're going to cultivate your plants. I guess I could have cleared the inside space, but that's okay. I'll do it next time. <laughs> we'll just do this tin first. Got corn and barley grains. Crops will grow over time in three stages. Once fully grown, harvest the crop with your sickle. Ooh, okay, so I'm wondering... Wait, so we don't have to water anything, right? That's kind of nice. Oh gosh, what if I do this? Matter? Oh yeah, I can put something here. Okay, let's do that then. Maybe I can order some more seeds? Oh shoot. Oh, oh that's nice! You can put grass back. Oh, I'm so happy. You can't walk over that. That's probably something I should keep in mind. What can we get? Okay, barley, corn, wheat, and rye. Let's do wheat then. Oh, it's gonna be so expensive though. I'll do three for now. Let me check this. It didn't say how long it would take to grow. It just said three stages. So maybe they can grow in one day or who knows? Like I can fix this, right? Yeah. Here we go, that's better. And slowly fix that area. Make it pretty again. It would be cool if we could pick these up and then move them somewhere else. Okay, it's already one o'clock. Let me try to get this. Here we go. Oh, and I have a chest too. I think I can put this here. Let's go to the cellar. I guess this is where I should put it. This might be for food or something. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put it in the cellar anyway. Oh, cheese. Aging rack allows you to age cheeses. Place cheese on one of the left slots and will age over time. Well, I really didn't need that. Okay. This is a mild L. How much does that sell for? Three. So I could get 30. Did I just take one and leave the other maybe? Yeah, let's do that this finished and what did I need from here? I can make 10 more of these. How about I do that? Everything is orange flavored here today. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. Maybe I should turn this on. Oh, it's too hot. Maybe. Okay, let's turn it off. Let's open. Where'd my cat go? Oh, it's sleeping in its bed. Cute. Well, maybe it'll use this bed too. That would be really nice. All right. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah. I didn't put these in here. There we go. Maybe I will push today as long as I can for doing the tavern. Tables are getting dirty already. 
Oh, I forgot to put the drink in too. Maybe I can still do that. Let me. Goodness. We are busy. I put these here, yes. And we can change the color to orange. I think all the seats are filled, yeah. You want beer, okay. I don't have that many, so. Here's Converser. Ooh, that's so nice though. Three silver. Oh, someone's angry. Can I also get beer? Oh yeah, I can. These background noises sound like a coffee shop, not a tavern. I wonder if customers get more rowdy if they're drinking alcohol. I'm not sure though. Oh gosh. No, he's drinking water. We're already at 72. And this is the latest I've ever been open. I'm gonna have to cook a lot after this, I guess. I guess I can turn the fire on now. Perfect timing with this table too. I need to get some more of those placemats. I don't know how. Maybe I can check the orders. Oh, the keg is empty. Buddy, I don't have any more for you. Okay, he automatically switched to water. That's good to know. I wonder what time I should close. Oh, they want candles at their table. Okay, it is really dark in here. All right, I'll have to order some more. I don't think I can put any lights down right now. Oh, I can put it down. Never mind. That was a total accident. Oh, they stack on top of each other. Okay, we should close. Oh, angry. I'm reputation too now. Army and carpeting tech trees. Why did you negative for me? Whoa, that's a lot. Why are they so angry? Maybe because I closed when I just got here or something. Okay, let's put this out. So we have cooking. We can make some soup, bread. But I want to come over to the farming, I think. So this one unlocks rye, wheat, barley, and corn. Hops would be a very smart option. Also potatoes, carrots. This is a really nice one too. Oh, apples and pears. Okay, let's do hops. Let's definitely do root. And I can afford this as well. What is this? Citrus. Oh, I was wondering what this was. That's a pretty good start. Carrot, potatoes, garlic, leek, and onions. Like five different crops. Berries. See, I knew there was berries. Those bushes look like they could be picked, but I don't know why I can't get them. Oh, there's bananas. Oh, building opened up. Basic carpentry. Large bench, large table, and a stool. Hmm. Big chest. Lighting. Oil lamp. And shining candle holder. Copper smelting. Okay, I cannot unlock anything in here for now, which is fine because this is a little bit overwhelming. I think I want to focus on farming and then I can come back and focus on food and then maybe come back to brewing. Can probably unlock something here. Oh, I see. So if I want to make more sawmills, I just need to unlock the recipe. I don't have to buy them. I guess I'll do the table. This one doesn't need any of the green, so maybe I'll do this one too. There's still some time, so let me go outside. I only have 40 though. Oh, let me see. Did I get my beads? Yeah. I keep forgetting that you click once and it doesn't give you everything at once. I'm gonna forget which crop is what though. It's kind of bad. I guess it doesn't really matter. Still, I'm sitting here like, I don't know. I'm not sure because I also need to unlock the other skill trees, like cooking. Maybe I can craft some stuff and get some of those. I felt like something's new in here. Let's check here. Make a large table now and a large bench. Oh, and the anvil, 20 iron bars. I guess I can work on that. Provides an intense smell. Comfort three. Oh wait, this is just the anvil, right? This is not anything special. Oh, never mind then. I'm looking in here like crafted an anvil and, and I'm thinking, am I making an anvil? No, I already have an anvil. So, okay. It just unlocked the recipe if I want another anvil. I don't know what I'd do with this, but I'll make one. I have some more tree saplings that I can plant too. You're about to pass out. Go to bed before 3 a.m. Oh, 3 a.m. Well, I was wasting some time, wasn't I? Wow, 3 a.m. is really generous. Well, I'll stay out till 3 a.m. then. I was really panicking, like, thinking it was 2. 
It's nice that there's a little emoji to remind you to. You know, go to bed. Yeah, the cat uses both beds. That's really cool. I think it's loud in here for nighttime. It's really intense. So technically, I could probably keep the tavern open until 2 a.m. then. Or let's say like 1.30. All right, let's check on this. 20 mild L, cool. And I should really make some more porridge. I'll go ahead and use the mango. Okay. Get some of that going. I can age this. How are you doing? I think you're almost done. I guess I need to order more candles. Maybe one more day and the corn should be done. Ooh, let me get more water. Oh yeah, and I got this little thing, didn't I? Oh, I have two more paper coasters. Let me put it on this table. Would be nice. This thing, I guess, in the corner. Hi, cat. Oh yeah, the red heart is growing more. I guess let's just open. I don't have any beer, unfortunately, but not much to do. Yeah, let's open. Oh, I just have seven. Okay, let's just get seven people and then I'll close up. Or at least use up the seven that I have. Okay, closed. Why did you sit all at different tables? Take your time drinking your water, I guess. Not like we're closed. There we go. I have 59, so maybe I should buy some more seeds. The only other option is directly buy like barley and stuff, but that's really expensive. This doesn't feel worth it either. How many does it make? Oh, I do have porridge. I just didn't pick it up. This makes 20. Oh, no, okay. It's worth it. It's worth it. So let's do another one. Put that there. I can go check my drinks again. Now it's young. Let's grab those then. Now we can open up again. Oh, I guess I can run back here and grab more food, huh? I can. Okay, let's do that again. I can get some more seeds later. Oh, we got an angry custom roll already. Jeez. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, it's always so busy when you first open. Another angry person. Yeah, we're calm again. Nice. You couldn't have asked for that while I was behind the counter, could you? Okay, everyone's happy again. I just wonder why they get angry. I mean, I know it kind of explained like sometimes they get whatever excited, I guess, but I wonder if there's something that can calm them down. Because clearly it's not about alcohol because a lot of people drinking water are getting angry. And they throw trash right by the door and I can't see it. Better not rain tomorrow, he said. I hope it rains. I really hope there's rain. There's probably not rain in the game, though. All right, last one. Sorry, dude. You're gonna have to drink water. Well, you're empty, too. The service is terrible. What do you mean? Oh, is he harassing somebody? What? No. I thought it was the other guy that was upset. See how much I can get today as far as gold goes. How am I here? We have 12 left. Okay, I'm gonna go run and grab the other one. Oh, I'm out of ingredients. I have to wait for my crops then. Okay, they get angry pretty quickly. Oh, so much water. Almost to nighttime again. Been pretty calm. Just not getting to them quick enough. I don't know why. Cats like pet me. Don't serve water. Okay, let's turn this on. Let me put this away too. 
Oh, I already have three gold coins. Cool. Getting so much money. I think the trick is just to hold water as much as possible. Just in case somebody wants water. Obviously when I have beer, it'll be a little bit harder to predict what people want. It's just funny to me that people come in here for water. I'm surprised they don't make like complaints or something where they're like, why is there only water? Or, I want beer or something like that. I haven't had anybody angry in a while, which is really nice. Oh, couldn't get him again. It would have been cool if they did a thing like, there's no music or anything playing. But you like have to hire a bard or somebody to come by and play music. Sometimes this music is just too like epic sounding and I kind of want more chill vibes, you know? Not bad, I'm not complaining, but something that can make it better, I think. Oh man, we burned through that water. Wow. Midnight now. Maybe I can close. That was a pretty good run. So let me get this wall calendar. I'm gonna put this water back first though. I thought it was R. Oh, hold down R. Got it. Get this wall calendar. Oh, look at the teddy bear, your new best friend. Okay, let's focus on crops, I think. We need definitely some more hops and it would be nice to put something inside of the porridge. Let's do this one. I think we have nine spaces, if I'm not mistaken. So let's do nine and then nine carrots. Nine onion, nine potato, some more barley. What are dual hops, I wonder? I don't really know the difference in like the hops and stuff. Garlic is cheaper. Food prep table. Oh, I'm probably gonna need that. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that too. I needed something for that Lager drink, didn't I? This one, I think. So let's do a couple of those. Stone workshop. Oh, I'm probably going to get a workshop for free but that's okay maybe i can sell it after i have until three so let me start digging this stuff up definitely not gonna finish this before i need to sleep maybe i can be fast and plant something oh i need to wait for the seeds okay that's fine then let's just go to sleep i don't know why i was thinking i had the seeds on me our little morning routine of making the bed for whatever reason i don't know why so all of this stuff means some more things right i do want to make this though this thing let me check the mailbox oh let me say hi to the cat first i think i can fill this again yeah oh i should have ordered candles okay let me get candles so i can start by planting these things. Let's do carrots and potatoes first. Oh, nice. Okay. Corn is finished. Guess I can fix this too. Are these finished? I wonder. Oh yeah, got a grinder. Okay, so you definitely can't walk through this, so I need to be careful about that. I wish it told you on like the label how it grows, but it doesn't. Now I have food prep table, a wall calendar. Is that all? Oh, I need to get more water too. And a stone workshop. Okay, let's put this down then. Oh, this is new. This must be a really bad place for all this stuff then. Maybe I can move it down here where there's no stone. Oh no, there is a stone thing here. Well, these are so annoying. So there's no way to like pick this up or move it. I can't put this one here, but I guess I could put it here. Stone block and polished stone. What is a grinder for? I guess that's for the kitchen? Grind cereals. Let's just go to the kitchen and try there. I don't have a very big kitchen though. Guess I'll just put it here. Yeah, okay. So there's tomato sauce, butter, and lard, and minced meat. I kind of wish these were in order of price, alphabetical. I'm not sure what is going to give me the best value, like the amount of money that I have. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess I can do that. Oh, I need water. That's right. Okay, let's grab water and then the wall calendar. I don't know what this is used for, so I'm going to stick it here. 
Oh, okay. It's just the calendar. Oh, there's nothing going on in spring, I guess. And I need to get candles. That's right. I got five candles. Got water again. This one is still going. Oh, I should check this. Can I make anything? Nothing here. I really want to open up, I guess, soup makes sense because I have vegetables now. Could save it, I guess. I just noticed it says plug in a controller to play or the second player. I might have to try that out with my husband. Let me check where I'm at with everything now. 27. Uh, I should make some more. So how do I get more recipes for that, I wonder? Malted barley I have, but so strange. I don't know how to get more recipes. All the candles are almost out. Oh, I have one of those already. Here we go. That's right. I forgot. I forgot I bought that. Oh, I don't have any extra ingredients. Hmm. Maybe I'll run out and try to find some fruit. Oh, is this Violet? Oh, yeah. Hello, I'm Violet. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Who are you? The owner of the tavern next door. An innkeeper? You must know a lot of stories about your customers. You could tell me some of them. A story about monsters and mysterious magic. So you like that sort of thing, huh? Yes, Dad and Uncle Woody were adventurers before Dad and Mom got married. At night, Dad tells me stories of his old adventures. Someday I'm going to leave this farm and travel the world fighting monsters and saving people. Wow, you're a very brave girl. That's right, I'm not afraid of monsters at all. If I ever see one, I'll kill it instantly with my sword. About Bob. You know Bob? He's a close friend of mine, and he's the only interesting person on this farm. Besides my dad, of course. He showed up here one day and seemed pretty confused. He was only two, so we became fast friends. You may not have noticed, but he's a real stone golem. For a while, I kept an eye on him in case he was dangerous, but he turned out to be very good. Isn't he amazing? Who is Bob? Did I miss that? Who are you? Ollie. Welcome to Harvest Hill Farm. We've got the best products that- Oh, wait. You're the innkeeper of the farm next door. I knew you look familiar. It's nice to meet you. I'm Holly, owner of Harvest Hill Farm along with my husband Buzz. Although we've only recently set up shop, I can assure you that our products are the finest quality. It looks really young. I mean, for the kids that she has. <laughs> Whether it's animals or products to care for them, we have everything you need. I spent my childhood on a farm very similar to this one. I spent my days playing with the animals and running through the cornfields. Unfortunately, the family business went belly up and my parents had to sell it. I guess their hearts couldn't take it because they died a few years later. If they could see it, I'm sure they would love this place. See, but where is the giant stone golem? Oh, their house is open. I'm gonna go inside. Oh, it's a little store. Just uh, checking out your house. Oh, it's already three o'clock. Maybe there's a certain time when this store is open. Ooh, fruit. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, nice. More fruit. I didn't see this area last time. I wonder if we're gonna be able to go fishing. It looks like there's piers for fishing. There's no like bubbles in the water or anything like that. I didn't see a golem though. Oh, I see him. Okay. Oh, that's what the little chicken was sitting on. You, you are Bob's father? What? No. Bob looks for him, but Bob can't find. Bob, is that your name? Yes, little Violet gives name. Bob says thanks. Yes, it's a good name. You friend, friend of Bob and Nugget. Oh, Nugget, chicken Nugget. Nugget, who is Nugget? Nugget is best friend of Bob. She's very smart hen. She helps Bob in his shop. So you sell things, right? Yes, you can watch. Let Bob know if you like. What is in your shop? Iron ore, egg, that's good to know. So I guess if any egg recipes come up and I don't have a coop for chickens, I can just come here. And if I need iron ore also, that's here. So let's talk to him again. Bob is bad at numbers. Nugget helps keep store accounts. He's looking for your father? Father, Violet says father loves Bob. Bob doesn't know, chest stone hurts. Oh, I understand. Father leaves Bob alone. Long time alone and sad until meet Violet's family. They are good to Bob and give Nugget. Nugget takes care of Bob now. If you find father, you let Bob know. Bob hugs or smashes after hearing father talks. I'll let you know if I find out anything. You're a good person. Nugget and Bob like you. Violet says goodbyes are not forever. Bob sees you again soon. I did get my fruit. That's what I came out here for and it's already six o'clock. Ooh, today went by really fast in the game. Hopefully I can make it back and open up the tavern again. Now I can make this one. 322. Oh, that's really nice. And then we can add on to it for a little bit more. Yeah, sure. Let's just go all out. Why not? I think I have points for something else now. So soup is 3-2. And there are berries though. I should buy some of these as well. Let's do the soup. Let's try that one. 
Oh, how can I make soup? This one's 10 minutes. This is an hour, so it takes a lot longer. Wait, you need vegetable, meat, and fish? Really? So I can't do like that. Oh, okay. Well, that's really disappointing that you need three of those. Why do I need meat and fish for a soup, though? That's really annoying. Okay, well, I guess no soup. But let's just do these. And I'll go ahead and open up. Oh, and it's nighttime, so let's turn this on. Might as well just get a bunch of water ready. Drink is watered down. It's literally water, dude. What a weirdo. Hey, everything's going pretty well this time. Much better than yesterday. Got one gold coin again. I'm just focusing so much. Yeah, it's almost 1 in the morning. I guess 1.30 should be the latest that I stay open. Because some people take a little bit to get out. And I don't want to fall asleep outside of the bed. Reputation 3. Character upgrade. Press X to open. What does that mean? Spend your XP on upgrades for your character. Earn XP through completing orders and quests. Oh, wow. Keep your tavern spick and span. Cleaning speed 100%. Haggling. Better bargaining. Crafting. Fabricate fashion and form. Crafting speed. Crafting yield. Farming yield and bartendering. Oh, it's just 10 per each? So I wonder if the haggling counts for outside because if I could buy stuff for cheaper, that would be nice. But I'd probably have to put a lot of points in there. So farming guild would be really nice. Let's try this. Oh, and now it's 140%. I got it. Okay, let's do bartendering. Crafting yield could be nice, but crafting speed is not a big deal. Oh gosh, I don't know. Let's do farming again. It doesn't say cooking on here. If it said cooking, that would be really nice. Maybe I'll try the haggling. Such a low percentage though. Well, we'll just try. Okay. Well, that was a really nice surprise. Okay, we should close. All oh, these last minute order people. That's why I knew I should close at 1.30, because some people do not leave. Hurry up, please. Oh, it took her an hour to leave. Okay, let's go to bed. So the tavern is growing at this point. The game is very different. I think it's different in a good way, and I am enjoying it. I'm really curious to see if there's like more house upgrades, because this room is getting really crowded. With all the cooking stuff or I'm curious about what else we can do. I don't know. It's always fun exploring a new game and finding out what there is to do. I still have a lot to work towards like getting the coop and getting a barn I guess. I need to figure out the cooking and the farming and there's a lot more crafting recipes. I'll be looking forward to the next time that I can play this. So we'll start from week two of spring in the first year in the next episode. Thanks for watching.